hi everybody welcome back to another video um i hope you're doing well i thought today i would do a little bit of a different one for you um so if we step back in time about an hour or so i thought i would show you my everyday makeup routine this is the finished result um i really like the products i'm using at the moment all really easy to apply um great for dare i say middle age because we do have to change the way we apply our makeup and the products as we age so i thought i would show you the products i use how i apply them and how i got to the end result so yeah here you go and i hope you enjoy so we'll start from the beginning um obviously i've had a shower and i have washed and cleansed my face so i have used the lizelle um cleanse and polish in the shower um to wash my face then i use the lizelle instant boost skin tonic that completely and utterly wakes me up in the morning um it just gives your skin such a fresh woke up feeling um so i couldn't do without that one and then moisturizer wise i am using at the moment the garnier um, vitamin c um day cream that one you see and that smells really really good as well <coughs> which is always a bonus it smells of oranges so yeah so first of all okay i will always put some lip balm on um I get very dry lips, so um, I'll use lip balm every morning. And I'm currently using, and have been using for quite a while, the Honey Trap from Lush. It's a really, really nice one. So we'll put a bit of that on. And then base-wise, I've been using this for a long time. <clears throat> it's great. Um, it's easy to apply. It's um correct colour I just really love it it's the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear and I use number 140 at the moment because I have a slight tan so I'm going to apply that now Then I use um, a Real Techniques um, blending sponge to blend that in. blends in really easy really easy and I forgot to mention I do dampen this sponge every probably couple of days um, but it was still quite moist from yesterday so I didn't dampen it today great coverage absolutely love it. really recommend that foundation as concealer i use the um collection <coughs> last imperfection concealer absolute classic and at the moment i'm using number eight so i'll just dot it wherever is needed always round here obviously and then after i put it in a little bit of my fingers then i will use blending brush to blend it out The other eye. 
it's a classic concealer isn't it it's just it is just really good it does what it needs to do and so inexpensive <sighs> I mean, I'm using shade number eight um, at the moment because I'm using a darker foundation because we're in summer like I said and I've got a tan but normally as well in the winter I'd use um, number seven make sure that's all blended here breakout round here, time of the month, so we'll use a little bit down there. Let's blend that in on the brush. This is like really quick makeup this is what I do every morning um, same process and it has to be it has to be quick <clears throat> next is powder I switched up I've been using a pressed powder for so many years um, and I've switched up and I'm really enjoying it I'm using the L'Oreal true match um, powder and instead of applying it with a puff and pressing I've actually been using a brush so I just get it on the brush put it where needed which it gets quite shiny out here in the day and then just blend that round the nose always gets shiny and the chin using them three products so far so the foundation the concealer and the powder it has made the world of difference to my skin so really recommend them three products <coughs> okay next eyeshadow i'm still using the cinnamon swell palette because i still love it and there's loads left so always start with this color here all over my lid and I do apply this with my fingertips, this one. It's just a lot easier. Um, not much product is actually going on the whole lid. So I just do it with my fingertips. Make sure it's blended in. I find um, a nice light colour all over the lid. Um, opens up the eyes, so that's why I use the light colour. Next one. use the best eyebrow product that I have ever used it's really buildable <clears throat> it's it's great it suits me and I always get the medium brown so it's time to do the eyebrows <clears throat> so the applicator brush give that a quick clean every morning before I start again and we'll start the eyebrows so we'll possibly fast forward this bit because it takes a little <laughs> so we have one eyebrow. The key is getting the other one the same. <laughs> Thank you. 
they've done. Make all the difference to the face. Wake, wake the face up. Um, I think they're pretty much even. So after the eyebrows, I'll always put like a darker colour in the crease. And today I'm going for this one, which is slightly darker than the colour that's on the whole lid. Just a little bit of that. I'm using a Morphe eyeshadow brush and blend that in. Next eye. Eyeshadow is done. And next I will apply just a very thin line of black liner across um, the eyelash line. Um, I've learned as I've got older, my eyes have changed um, and I have had to switch up the way that I apply my makeup. And the line that I used to do used to be, I think a lot thicker and it wasn't really doing my eyes any favors. Um, so I try and apply a thin line as possible. So I'll always start at the outer edge. get older we do have to switch up the way we apply our makeup or um, the products that we use you know and so that's done and then after that I will apply um, in the inner rim to brighten the eyes up um, not a white I did used to use a white and not really is the way to go um, so I now I use a very off-white beigey colour um, this is a Rimmel, Rimmel pencil um, so I'll just apply that in the in and it really does brighten the eyes up, so. really suits my lashes. I never I just stick to this because it is just so good eyes are done <clears throat> and next I'll always go with the bronzer which I have shown many times is the Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush bronzer um, in medium brown it's getting less and less but I do have another one waiting so I'll take my big bronzing brush which is a Kiko one and swirl it round and I'll apply it in all the places that the sun would, let's say, automatically catch you. So across the top of the forehead, blend in, blend the tip of your nose. And then I will do basically the number three. Start here, one down there, and round here. Great product, absolutely great product. It's a bit, it's a bit pricey if you compare to some drugstore bronzers, but it's good. It works. And I really, I 
and you want to do that outfit. That side's done. And the next side. <coughs> Blush. It's a great, it's a great blush. So I will get my Real Techniques blusher brush and just dot it on my cheeks. Really lightly. light colour, not too much, but just gives your cheeks a little bit of colour. Can you hear the birds in the background? It's literally about, no it must be about quarter to six, something like that. Just hear the birds, that's all you can hear. As you can see, just a little wash of colour makes it look quite pretty. It's a great blush, totally recommend that. And it seems to just be lasting and lasting um, to make sure it's completely blended in. And then, last of all, the lipstick. Um, I absolutely love the um, NYX lip butters. Um, I have so many different colours down here. They're just easy to apply again. Um, I love the texture, not drying at all. I don't like matte lipsticks. So I'm going to use one of them today and I'm going to use this one, which is like a very beigey neutral colour. <coughs> I don't like too bright lips. I will do is get the powder again and just blend everything in together just a slight bit of powder again on where I get the shininess around here and just blend it all in together then one last coat of mascara I'm good to go so we are finished that is my everyday makeup routine very simple very quick um i would say probably 15 minutes tops um around about that time and um the products i use they stay they stay all day they're great products really recommend them um i wouldn't show you anything that i wouldn't recommend and so yeah that is my everyday makeup and that is how i do it every single morning i mean sometimes obviously if i'm going somewhere special or something i will maybe put more of an effort um use slightly different color eyeshadows or a darker lip or something but that is my everyday makeup and that is the finished result so i hope you enjoyed um i hope it may have helped in some way or um you know all the products i use really really good last all day so totally recommend them all so i hope you enjoyed my makeup tutorial should we call it that? See you soon for another video. Bye.